Imagine this, you're 10 years old, you love cars, and you bought one with your own money two years ago to restore it with your dad. You've put in hundreds of hours of work, so you could take it to a car show or two in one day or another. Uh, because the boy was in school, Fort Wayne's NBC reporter Corinne Rose caught up with the boy's father today to see the car as it is today. How could you do something like that to a 10 year old kid? I mean, I'm devastated. I mean, my son spent his, his money on this car. I mean, he's worked uh, diligently to uh, get it to where it was. In DeKalb County, mechanic Joshua Hart isn't sure how he's going to break the news to his 10-year-old son Gage that his dream car, a 1994 anniversary edition Camaro, was set on fire Monday night along County Road 8. He says Gage researched and bought the car two years ago as an 8-year-old after getting back child support from his mother. I let him on Facebook Marketplace, and he found this car in Bronson, Michigan. Over the past two years, the father and son have invested hundreds of hours and a lot more money into the bonding experience project, finally getting the engine rebuilt this spring. Even when he was in school, he wanted to go to the shop after school so he could, so he could work on it, and I had to know homework first car second. Every driveway gauge shoveled, every lawn he mowed, the money went to buying parts on eBay to restore the car. Receipts and the restoration process were documented carefully. What was left to do on it? Um, we were going to start replacing the whole interior to where it was pretty much car show ready and then we were going to worry about the uh, paint. Hart says the two love traveling to car shows, which was the goal, the big dream for this car that's titled in both their names. You got a, a 10, 11 year old kid showing up to a car show and then he can show them that he's built the car and done it. I mean, and, and car shows like that, I mean, those guys, they recognize things like that. So they would have been all about it. With that dream now up in smoke and Hart trying to convince his insurance company the car is now worth far more than what Gage originally paid for it, he says it will be up to Gage to decide what to do next. He's strong-minded, the whole works. So, I mean... The hunt's just going to start over. I mean, I just, it's just how he is. A family friend started a GoFundMe page to help Gage finance his next car to restore with his dad. Corinne Rose, Fort Wayne's NBC.